Yeah, this didn't age well at all. This is gonna be a bit of a doozy. It's about time I do one of these unscripted videos because I haven't done one of these in forever. I'ma just be real with you guys here that like, I really am being so sincere when I say that I absolutely do not like these Gen 4 remakes. Like, I am so super serious right now. You don't understand how not only betrayed do I feel, but also just disappointed. Let me preface by saying that as a game, I do not think that the Gen 4 remakes are bad games. At the end of the day, they're Pokemon through and through. But that's not why I think that they suck as games and while I would never go back to them over Platinum, which I will always come back to till the, to the end of time. No. There's a lot more that I can bring up to the table that I just really do not like about these games that completely frustrate me on almost every level that you can imagine. Where do I even start with this game, man? Let me just tell you something real quick. I grew up on Pokemon since Gen 3. That <clears throat> Excuse me. I grew up on Pokemon since Emerald, specifically. That was my gateway into the series. What made me stay into the series, as you can probably already guess, was Gen 4. That's my favorite generation. Not only is it my favorite generation, but it's the one that made me look at Pokemon a different way and truly stay committed to the series. I may be a Digimon fan, but Pokemon has had just as much of an impact on me as Digimon has. So to see what Game Freak has been doing as of late with the series, and to see what they've been doing particularly with the Gen 4 remakes that is, yeah no, it has done nothing but made me short of just frustrated. Frustrated because I know this could have been far better than what we've gotten. And I'm going to explain that, why? But no, at the end of the day, I'll hold the notion that, this, that these games suck. They suck ass, and I would never go back to them unless I'm having a gun held to my head. So, with that being said, let me just get into why I do not like these games and why I do not want to ever play them again, man. Like, I will not play these games again after I'm done. Maybe I might play them, like, maybe occasionally just for, like, some sort of secrets or something like that. But beyond that, I'm not going to play this game over the original Platinum, which has managed to capture my attention for years straight. For years. And, that's, and the reason why I'm bringing that up... <laughs> It's because there's going to be those people who's going to say, Oh, Neo, you just have nostalgia goggles on. Clearly you liked it because you were a child. It's nostalgia. No, it's not nostalgia. I I play these games even now. So I can have an evaluate opinion on it still, even to this day, and still say that, yeah, without a doubt, that these games aged fine and they're still well. So, no, it isn't just me and it isn't just nostalgia. It's just that there's something wrong with these games. But enough... Enough giving background and enough of the, you know, just this. Trying to just get into why I fundamentally think that these games are bad, bad as remakes, and you should probably never return to them over the originals. Well, again, in my opinion, because obviously all of this is my perspective, of course there's going to be those person who probably jumped into Pokemon through these games. And if that's the case, then hey, power to you. That's cool that you can enjoy it. Unfortunately for you, I didn't enjoy it, and I'm sorry, that's just how it is, so let me get into that. One of the biggest issues that I have with this game is the lack of content. What I mean by lack of content is, compare the Gen 4 remakes to the other remakes. For example, look at Fire Red and Leaf Green. Notice how the games aren't just faithful remakes of the originals, they add new stuff to it, even including new Pokemon, new in-game content. Like for example, in, um... In Fire Red and Leaf Green, Fire, Fire Red and Leaf Green, you can get Deoxys and stuff like that. You can go and get Deoxys. That's not something you can get in the original Pokemon. And, and there's more I can bring up like that, but it only increased when we got to Generations and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Not only could you get some of the Gen 4, um, Gen 4 Box Legendaries, the Creation Trio, but not only that, but you had exclusive content that was related to that gen, but also stuff that was after the game. So, what I'm saying here is that these remakes have always consistently given stuff that was far, that was, you know, beyond just the base game and go into Alpha um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Not only did they give you some more content and stuff, but also an entire episode, the Delta episode and stuff like that. You see where I'm getting at here? There's no excuse for the Gen 4 fucking remakes to not have any of that. There's no excuse. What I, what I predicted and expected was maybe some sort of expansion stuff of like Arceus, you know, because he doesn't appear in the original game because you can't get him legitimately. 
Or, I don't know, maybe some expansion stuff regarding Regigigas. You know, so you can actually make them relevant and, you know, competitive play or something. You know, just fix the fucking slow start. Or how about some stuff that can expand on Heatron and stuff like- There's so much ideas I could have been throwing out here that they didn't even do. And it's, it's, it's really frustrating because I wouldn't be complaining about this if Game Freak hadn't shown that they were willing to do, do this shit and go out of their way to make it more than just faithful remakes. Which is the biggest flaw with this game. It's so faithful that it has nothing original. And not only nothing original, but nothing that exceeds the original Platinum. Which, by the way, this game is based on Platinum to all the dumbasses who are saying that this game, oh, but it's clearly Diamond and Pearl. No, it has content that's blatantly Platinum based. So you can't even use that as a crush for your argument. But, no, no, no. Even beyond that. Even beyond that. It's just frustrating to me on how... They basically just replicated the same thing, but only just give it a lighter, uh, basically just give it a graphical update, while also doing some things worse. For example, the glitches in this game are just abysmal. A lot of these glitches should not exist. Like, either they shouldn't just be as bad as they are, or they should just straight up just should not exist. That's ridiculous. There's no excuse for a game being so broken to where you can do half the shit that you do. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and act like Pokemon is this, like, pro- is, like, this technological masterpiece and all that stuff. At the end of the day, the games played well and you couldn't break them to this degree. I don't even remember Gen- f I don't even remember Gen 1 being this broken. I mean, maybe I'm- maybe I'm misremembering and stuff, but no, I don't remember Gen 1 being this fucking broken. Like, seriously, man? Come on, dude. This is ridiculous, dude. And I can go on and on about that, but let's go back on to the fact that, again, they're just way too faithful to where there's no value out of this. They added some, they did add a few new content and the likes, like, I'll give them that. They did add some stuff, but beyond that, what is even the point? And let me just talk about the graphics themselves. The graphics themselves look fine, I'll actually give them that. But when I talk about graphics, let me talk about the chibis. Now, if they had kept the chibis on just the, you know, the map and stuff, okay, I wouldn't have an issue with it. But it's not even just that. They're on the, they're on the cutscenes. The cutscenes where you need them to convey the emotion. Like, for example, when you get introduced to Cyrus, he was one of the most terrifying, and in my opinion, still was one of the most terrifying antagonists in the series. And you even get a close-up of him in the original. Dude was fucking scary. Then you just fucking get into the cutscenes, and you see that you're still chibi and stuff. Like, like, are, are, are you serious right now, man? Like, this is ridiculous. And they even have the models for it. So what are they doing right now? Like, are you serious right now, dude? It's ridiculous. I, I, <sighs> man, like, I, I cannot believe this, man. And the more and more I go on, there's other stuff I can bring up as well. Such as, like, you know... The fact that they didn't really do much with, you know, what's the best way I can put this? It's just the fact that, like, there's so much that they could have done with this, but they just didn't. They played it safe, way too safe, and didn't bother to venture out like how they usually do, and they just ultimately made a product that I'm not going to come back to unless, again, I'm being held at gunpoint to do it. Or I have to do something out of obligation, such as, like, getting scans and stuff. I'm not going to do play this game anymore beyond that fact. And, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous, man. I just really don't know what to say about any of this. Other than, I've been waiting years for this. Not just me. Not even just me. This isn't even about me. This is about the, this is about the other Gen 4 lovers like myself. You know? We've been waiting for this for a while. We've been asking for this for a while. So to see what we got here is nothing short of criminal. It's criminal and it's just ridiculous. So, what do we do now? So we just, like, is Pokemon at a state where we just, where we have to, like, pray that we're even gonna get a good game now? Is that what we're doing right now? Like, I predicted that Legends Arceus was going to be better, and I do hope that it's better so I can get something out of this train wreck. Please, God. Because I was hoping that this was going to be the game that changed people's thoughts on Gen 8. Because I already didn't like Sword and Shield. I thought it was an alright game at best. I didn't already like it. So, I thought this game was going to perhaps change our spots on Gen 8 and say, Okay, this Gen isn't too bad. Alright, okay. But no. This just only reinforces the problem that Game Freak has, which is they're fucking lazy, and fans keep on justifying their laziness for stupid means, like some sort of Stockholm Syndrome. I don't know what's the deal, people. Like, do you just pay just to get yourself ripped off? I don't get it. 
I don't. And again, I love Game Freak. I love Nintendo. And I'm also aware that Game Freak didn't program this. But for those people who point at me and say that, oh, but Game Freak didn't develop this, it doesn't fucking matter. It's the principle at the end of the day. They approved of this. They looked at this and say, yeah, this looks fine. Well, no, it doesn't look fine. It looks fucking god awful. It's nothing of value to this. So what am I supposed to do about this? What are what are what are Game Freak looking at and seeing that is all right in this that I that that everyone else isn't like seriously man i'm i'm sorry if i'm like feeling like i'm out of character like really angry right now but like i'm trying and so hard just not to fucking lose my shit right now because i've been wanting this for a while and to see what i got and spend all that money which by the way didn't even go on sale so you know that's nice not even a not even a sale to can salvage this shit but fuck it man it's just ridiculous i cannot believe this uh, all I'm praying at this point is that Legends Arceus is is better. Just not even better, just good. Just at least good. If I have the fact that I'm even asking you just to make it good is kind of just sad, man. Like Pokemon used to be this gener used to be like this series that's been consistent, dropping banger after banger after banger that only got better with time. Like again, I don't I don't prefer Gen Four to Gen. I mean, I don't prefer Gen Five to Gen Four, but it did it did improve on a lot of areas. So nonetheless, my my statement still holds. It got better and better with time until Gen Six. It just drops off. And keep in mind, I don't hate Gen Six either. It just dropped off a lot of things. And then there was Gen 7, which was actually an anomaly and actually really good. And then they come back to Gen 8. What are we doing, Gang Freak? Like, are you not monitoring yourself? Are you not understanding of something? Oh my lord, man. But to cut this video short, man, the Gen 4 remakes, they may be alright Pokemon games, but as remakes and stuff, they suck ass, and I would never play them again. And I doubt I'm alone on that. Matter of fact, there's many people who share the same sentiment as me. I think that they're disappointments and that they were a waste of time. I'd rather them just not be made at all and not have my whole childhood crushed. You know, Jesus Christ, dude. But, you know, that's all, folks. I just don't know what to say. That These games were god-awful and I wasted my money on this. So, yeah, no, uh, that's all. That's all, folks. Uh, see you whenever I make a video again. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I just do not like the Gen 4 remake. So, yeah, that's all, folks. Super Neo, peace the fuck out like usual.